Hey guys, it's Scrappin' Katie. I am bringing you a process video using the Zoe colors. Mm -hmm. Heather, Sweet Leaf, Mint, Smoothie, and Canary. And I'm going to do an Easter layout from some pictures of last year. And I've pulled those already. And so we've got a 4x6, a 3x4, and it starts out as a 3x3 of just the eggs on the ground. Mm -hmm. um, I end up not using that photo though. So all I've done is I've loosely drawn a circle on my layout base, which is a white daisy cardstock. And then kind of place my pictures where I want them. And then I'm going to start stamping all the images from this Close to My Heart stamp set um, in a circle. And I'm going to kind of try to keep the stamped images um, in the visual triangle. And the stamp set I'm using is Extra Special. And that's E-G-G-S-T-R-A. And again, it's from Close to My Heart. And so I've stamped the bunny um, and Heather and then the little ears um, and smoothie and then I've stamped another image of the bunny that I'm going to end up cutting out and it's going to um, kind of be put over the picture and that's the cute little carrot and it's stamped in smoothie and then I'm adding the little leaves of the carrot stamped in sweet leaf and so I'm just trying when I stamp in a circle um, I'm just trying to make sure that again I have the visual triangle and um, my images aren't all pointed the same direction, if that makes sense. So this extra special stamp set comes with a few eggs. And so I've just stamped the outline of the egg. And then I'm going to go in and fill in with the rest. Um, I've decided to mask that little bunny so he doesn't have an egg over his ears. And so that's a cute little striped um, egg and it is stamped in mint and then now I'm going to come in and stamp this cute little chick and that's going to be in canary and I loved him so much I really wanted him somewhere else and I, I tried to put him somewhere else later on it just didn't work and then now these are his little legs and they're stamp stamped in heather and then I'm going to take his little beak and I'm going to stamp it in smoothie So now I'm going to come back in with another one of the Easter eggs. And this one's going to be a polka dot one. So again, I'm just going to stamp the outline first. And then here's the little polka dots. And this one I've done in Sweet Leaf. And again, if you can tell, the Sweet Leaf... Um, I had only used on the little leaves of the carrots and so that's why I decided to do a bigger image which is the Easter egg and then this is a tiny little egg I decided to kind of fill in some spots because although I intended this to be a circle it ends up not really looking like a circle at all especially once I get the pictures on there but it's still it's still a cute layout if you ask me this stamp set also comes with several sentiments, so I've just stamped one of those um, sentiments up at the top in Heather. And this that sentiment says, Some Bunny Loves You. And then I'm just taking um, our, our eraser and uh, erasing some of those lines, trying to figure out where I want that bunny that I cut out. Again, placement of the photos. I ended up trimming that Easter eggs, the eggs on the ground, down to two by two. It was just too large. And even it just didn't really have a spot. We, we ended up just last minute going to a party. Um, and so the Easter eggs literally were everywhere. But I just couldn't capture it with my, um, with my camera. And so that picture actually is before church that day. And then the picture with the um, of my son with the egg on his head, that's from at the party. And so I was trying to throw another picture of the party, um, but it just it ended up not working. So I'm going to fill in that hole where I was going to put the picture of the Easter eggs. I'm going to try to fill that in with some more stamped images. And then um, I'm just going to stamp some grass all the way around. And here, I think, is where it loses its circle. Um, that grass just kind of 
anchors the straight line, you know? I don't know. I just, I, th I think in the end, the circle was lost. And then that carrot was so cute, I decided to add some, um, a carrot down there. And so now I'm going to adhere down these photos. I'm pretty happy with the way they turned out. I did not adhere the edges in case I want to tuck some things underneath there. And these are our thin 3D foam circles. And I love them because like you saw for those ears, I cut apart one. Um, and so I still had the curve of the circle for those ears, but then the straight lines for the inside of the ears. I'm going to pull one of the zip strips from the new Zoe pack. And this is actually an old paper packet that Close to My Heart has brought back. And so I, I loved it the first time and I haven't really played with it a lot now, but I know I'm going to love it now. So I end up tearing this zip strip to make it look more like washi. And so I've just added adhesive down and then i um, going to put those right there on those photos. And this was more just to bring some of that um, mint into play um, because I only had it on that one Easter egg and it just wasn't enough. Right there I took my journaling pen and I like to add just um, three little dots everywhere, kind of doodling. Hopefully you can tell that by the photo. Um, there was just too much white space. So I've trimmed down that white piece um, to 11 by 11. And then now I'm going to mat it on some canary and then mat that on some mint. And I'm going to show you how I do with my girls love to save cardstock. So I'm going to trim this one down and then I'm going to cut out the center. And so what I've done is I've lined it up at three quarters inch and then I've cut from three quarter inch all the way up and then left another three quarter inch. And on here, I'm leaving an inch. And that way they can all line up, but I've saved all of the middles of those cardstocks that I can use later. And so see, I didn't waste a whole bunch of cardstock. I'm just gonna take my eraser and erase some more fine lines. I did take a shimmer brush and add it to the bunny. And then I'm gonna journal in that bottom left corner. You can shop any of these products um, on my website, and if you have any questions, leave me a comment. Other than that, have a great weekend, ladies, and I hope you get to craft.